Processing is alive and well in North America. One of the most common objections I hear from producers about why they can't get their business to work or why they can't grow their business is due to the limitations in processing. They believe that there just aren't enough processors or that they're too hard to get into or the wait times are too long. And really, like, I understand this, I get it. And especially during COVID, can we all think back and remember COVID, what happened then? Processing times just ballooned from weeks to months and ultimately to a year, year and a half, even two years in some areas. And so, yes, there were delays because there was this increased demand put on the system, right? And there's a lot of facilities and plants that were shut down. And so all of the smaller processors were under a dramatically increased demand. And so that was a reality. But even having said that, there were so many things that we were teaching our clients to do to be able to get into the processor immediately, consistently, and without any hassle that, yes, you can get into the processor and you could even in the, in the midst of COVID. Good news is we're not in COVID anymore and it's not nearly, I would say it's about uh, maybe 20% the challenge, right? So it was uh, five times harder then to get into a processor as it is today. So the reality is there's a lot that you can do to get in with the processor, but let's start with the limiting belief around processing. If you believe that processing is your bottleneck, I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. And that is an uncomfortable truth that you are going to need to swallow. Processing is not your bottleneck. Your mindset is your bottleneck. With clients in every state and most regions of every state, I can tell you having served many hundreds of clients individually working one-on-one -on -one with them and having taught thousands of producers over the last 10 years that anywhere in the United States of America where you are, you can get processing done. Okay, there are processors. Some are hard to find, some are booked forever, some don't have great quality, some have uh, labor shortages. So there are things that are happening that are challenging with processing, but that's business. There's always things that are challenging in business and processing is just another one of those things. It's a, it's a challenge to be solved. Now, you're an entrepreneur. You're good at solving challenges, right? Problems don't scare you. This is just something that you got to do. And when I do it, I can move on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. Because the reward of figuring out all of the challenges and fixing all of the problems is freedom. It's financial freedom. It's peace of mind. It's time freedom, freedom of relationships, be able to spend your time with the people that you want to spend your time with, freedom to be able to do what you want to do with your life, freedom from doing all the things that you don't want to do. Those are the rewards that you stand to gain by solving problems as a business owner and entrepreneur. So again, processing is just another one of those challenges that needs to be solved in order to be successful. And I'm here to tell you that we have seen people solve this challenge in every area of North America. So let's get back to how do we solve it? The first thing that I would recommend that you do is let's reframe it. Let's, let's reframe it in our minds, right? Because oftentimes um, what we find is that in, in business that maybe we don't think we know how to do something, but really we just need to step out of our own head and approach it from a different perspective. So what would so-and-so do if he were trying to solve this problem? This is something I learned about 15 years ago. I don't remember the book, but it was a great book and it has helped me ever since. And it was when I was a young CEO running a company, uh, a tech company that I had founded, funded, raised capital, hired a bunch of people. And I felt uh, like I was in over my waders, right? If you know what I mean, I was out over my ski tips. I just, um, I was in my, uh, let's see, uh, I was about 25, I think at the time. And uh, I felt like I had no idea what I was doing. And I got this great advice from a book and it said, act as if you had more experience. Right? Act as if you had 10 years more experience as a CEO. And that might sound trite, but what it did is that it freed me up. All of a sudden, I was like, you know what? What would I do if I had 10 years more experience in this role as a CEO? Oh, okay, I'm, I might do this and this and this and this. And now all of a sudden, I'm thinking of solutions that I was not able to access beforehand. So here's a question that I want you to ask yourself. If you are someone that thinks that processing is the bottleneck and processing is keeping you from being successful in your business and processing is a problem that just cannot be solved for you and your business in your specific unique scenario and situation. The question is this, could Elon Musk figure out processing for your business? If he could, then it's a problem that you can solve too. So could Elon Musk figure out processing for your business? And what would that look like? That's part two of the question. What would he do? How would he, how would he fix it? How would he solve it? How would he um, address this challenge and get processing solved for your business? So that's a great place to start. 
um, approach it through the lens of someone else that has more experience, more credibility. Because what we're really doing is we're stepping out of ourselves and we're leaving behind all of our self-limiting beliefs that we have around, well, I don't have enough business experience or I'm not smart enough or I'm too old, I'm too young, I don't know what I'm doing, there aren't enough processors, yada, yada, yada. The, the list is literally endless of excuses that we do make, right? Because these are stories that we've told ourselves over the years. Now, once you step out of that and you approach it through the lens of someone else, well, that person, they don't have all your self-limiting beliefs, all your terrible stories. And so that perspective is really going to aid you in solving this problem of processing. Now let's talk another practical thing that you can do to uh, figure out processing. The first thing that you're probably not doing is creating a relationship with your processor, right? So step one is you want to find a great processor. Now that means you're going to need to go in and talk with them and actually shake their hand and look them in the eye and say, hi, my name is Cam and I have this business and this is what I do and I'm in your area and we are working really hard to grow this business and I would love to be a consistent customer for you in your business, Mr. Processor. If you approach it through the lens of a relationship, you are much more likely to have a relationship. And who do you think the processor is going to favor when it comes time to doling out these kill dates and these slots on their calendar? People that they don't know from Jack or people that they have a relationship with? People that they know, right? That they have a relationship with. And so you want to go meet these people. You want to go meet the state inspected, the federal inspected, the custom guys. You want to go meet all of the processors because there are ways to get your meat processed. And there are different things that you can do, even if let's say that there's not a single USDA inspected processor in your entire state, but your herd is in your state. And so without that USDA stamp, you can't sell across state lines. There are still things that you can do. There are still lots of things, lots of avenues that are open to you to be able to be successful in your business. I want you to approach this through a lens of abundance, not one of scarcity. You need to realize that you're not the first person that's coming up against this problem. In fact, you're like the four millionth person that's coming up against this problem. And this is a problem that has been solved again and again and again and again. So let me give you another way to think about this, right? If you are still looking at this and it feels like, oh, this is just an insurmountable problem. I don't know how I'm ever going to get it solved. There's just no way we can get our meat processed. I guess I can't be successful. First of all, that's terrible. It's a terrible mindset. We got to replace that. But now I want you to go ahead and think, well, what if I had $100,000 in pre-orders for my product. So customers had already paid me. I had a hundred grand sitting in the bank from people who had already paid me. If that was the case, do you think you could go figure out how to get processing figured out? Do you think you could go find a solution to your processing problem if you had a hundred K in orders? I asked the same question about people that say, well, there is a processor, but they're a three hour drive away from us one way. So that's just not going to work. Well, maybe it's not going to be a good idea to drive three hours twice a week to pick up, let's say, one beef. But on the other hand, maybe it also could be a great idea to drive maybe five or six times one way, three hours, even if it was just one beef to create a relationship with that processor. Now, maybe another way that we could think about this or, or the similar way is, would you be willing to do the drive if you'd already sold $50,000 in product? Right. And so if you were driving up to that processor so that you could fulfill $50,000 in orders, would you be willing to do that drive? It's a pretty profitable three hour trip. You probably would. You'd probably be, yeah, I could make the drive. It'd be worth it. Right. Time to money. Like I'm making good money on that drive. So what does that tell us about our business? It tells us that marketing is the tip of the spear. It's not processing. Marketing is upstream from everything else. We have to nail the marketing before we nail anything else. I have never met a producer in 10 years, thousands of producers. I've never met a producer who came to me and said, Cam, I've got a problem. I have nailed the marketing. I've nailed it, man. I've got 800 customers and I got a million dollars in orders or a hundred thousand dollars in orders. I've never had someone come up to me and say that and then say, but I can't figure out processing or I can't figure out shipping. I have pre-sold. I've done this great marketing, man, my website, my emails, my ads, my customer acquisition strategy, my Ascension model, my value ladder, they're all in, they're impeccable, but I just can't figure out how to get the dang thing processed. Never happened. So what does that tell you? Is that marketing is the most important thing, not processing. Processing needs to be solved, but it's not that big of a deal compared to everything else in your business. So focus on the things that are going to make you money 
rather than getting caught up in the things that so many people have solved before you that I promise you, you can solve the processing. Same with shipping. We'll go in, into shipping in another video, but it's the exact same thing. One of the biggest self-limiting beliefs I come across with producers is that they think that shipping is not profitable. It's too expensive, yada, yada, yada. Well, having done millions of pounds and millions of dollars worth of product and shipped it ourselves for our companies and helped our clients do tens of millions of dollars in product shipped, I can tell you, you can be done very profitably, very inexpensively. Uh, you just have to know how to do it. So again, we'll leave that for another video, but I want to leave you with this, that processing isn't the problem. Your mindset is the problem. And if you can just approach the problem of processing with a different mindset, you could be able to fix it. So anyways, maybe I should leave you actually with a couple of things that you should do. Start with Google. Google is your friend. Google processors in your area. Start with, and then with people that you know. Do you know any other producers that are getting their meat processed? Find out where they're going. Uh, call your state uh, ag office. You could talk to your farm bureau. You could talk to your the USDA.gov, the representative for your state. Uh, there are a lot of different ways. There's uh, There used to be a website. I don't know how updated it is, but it used to be pretty reliable four or five years ago, Niche Meat Processing. And so I think that maybe it's nichemeatprocessing.org or maybe .com. So that used to have a pretty good list, but go find out who the processors are and then go and take the time and uh, go meet them. Shake their hands, look them in the eye. Treat this like a business right? Have faith, like believe that this is going to work, that you're going to be able to figure things out and take, take the action, do the work, right? Faith without works is dead. And if you want this business to be successful, you got to start exercising some faith and doing it consistently. And I promise you, anything that you want, anything that you desire, any life that you want to create, success that you want to achieve, it can be accomplished. But it starts with believing that it's possible and then doing the work to make it so.